Hello, in this video we're going to go through an example of common factoring techniques when we combine both um, constant values as well as unknowns. So we're going to do three questions here. So again, when we do these types of questions, what we do is we can either do everything at once or break it up into parts. I'm going to break this up into steps in part for, uh, for learning purposes, but again, if I was doing this, actually I would often do many of these steps in one go. So first thing, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at constants, and in this case the constants are 3, 9, and negative 12. So a common factor of all those is 3. Uh, and then I can say 3 times what gives me 3, and the answer is 1, so I have 1x cubed. 3 times what gives me 9, and so that's 3x squared. 3 times what gives me negative 12, and that's minus 4, and we have x. So now I'm going to look, and I see that I have an x in each of the terms. So if I have x in each of the terms, what I do is I actually look at their power and I see the, large, the smallest power here is x to the power of 1. So therefore, I can factor out x to the power of 1. So then I say x to the power of 1 times what gives me x to the power of 3, and the answer is x squared. Remember, a little side note here is when I multiply power. So if I have a to the m times a to the n, that's a to the m plus n. I add the powers if the bases are the same. So x to the power of what times x, sorry, x times x to the power of what gives me x squared, and the answer is x. And I see here if I have x to the 1, x to the 1 times what gives me x to the 1, and the answer is just 1. So that's x squared plus 3x minus 4, and it's factored. So now let's look at this second example. So let's start with our constant values. We have negative 7, 14, and 21. So I'm going to factor out negative 7. I'm going to end up with a squared b c cubed plus, and then factor out negative 7. Oh, notice there. Factor out negative 7, so the plus 14 becomes minus 2 a cubed b squared c squared, and then minus 3 a cubed b cubed c squared. So, now that I've factored that out, what I'm going to do is take a look at the unknown values. So, let's factor out of here if I have, I have an a in each case, and I look at the lowest power is a squared, so I can factor of a squared. So, that's going to give me bc cubed minus 2, and then a times a squared is a cubed, b squared c squared minus 3, and then a times a squared gives me a cubed, and then we're going to have b cubed c squared. Okay, so now I'm going to factor out b from each of the terms, so negative 7a squared b. So I'm going to get c cubed minus 2ab c squared minus 3ab squared c squared. And now, finally, I look and I see c is in each of the terms, so I factor it c, and I have c cubed, c squared, c squared, so I'm going to factor it c squared, a squared, b, c squared, and that's going to leave me with c minus 2ab, the c squared is factored out, minus 3ab squared, and c squared is factored out. So two little things to note about this example. The first thing is that notice I factored out the negative 7 with the, the leading coefficient there. And I just typically like to pull that negative right out of there. Um, it's a personal preference. You could have factored out 7 just as well. Um, so let's come down and look at this example because it is just a little bit different. So in this example, I'm going to do everything at once. So I notice that I can factor out a 2, um, an A, so there's an A in both of them, and a B. Now notice there's a d in the second term, but again, since there's not a d in the first term, I can't factor that out. So when I factor this out, 2 times what gives me 2, it's 1. A, a times what gives me a, it's 1. b times what gives me b, and it's 1. So that means we're left with 1. Be sure to write the 1 there. Sometimes students will leave that out. And then we have 2 a b d. And we're done. I hope that video helped. Thank you very much. Um, whoever you were that pointed out that I made a little calculation error in my first version of this video. Um, and please, if you ever do come across a mistake, don't hesitate to let me know because that's going to allow me to make these more helpful for everyone. Have a great day.